So today we got the brand new roadmap for Season 5 in Cold War and I guess also Warzone, but we're not very much interested in that. And uh, that's what I want to go over here today. And uh, one thing I just need to mention off the bat is that this is not my first recording of this because my first recording of this had to uh, or came to an abrupt end after I saw a certain thing here. And uh, it was not the greatest thing in the world, but I guess uh, we'll get to that. When we get to that, either way though, let's jump over to this roadmap. So, as you guys see, we have everything going on. I could already tell you guys already know why the previous video came to an abrupt end. So, let's waste as much time as possible trying to avoid getting to that. First, multiplayer. I actually do want to talk about this for once because the new double agent mode is coming, which is just Among Us for Call of Duty. Of course, there's a bomb involved and special agents and stuff like that, but I don't really want to explain. Just, just Among Us for Call of Duty, pretty much. Uh, it's different, obviously, but not super different. Uh, either way, Demolition's back for the first time since forever. Uh, we have Echelon. Slums is being remastered again. That was in Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4, so we're getting it for the third game in a row. Uh, Showroom, which is 2v2. Drive-In, which is in-season, but 6v6. And then Zoo, which is a 6v6, interesting enough, so they definitely shrunk this map down for the 6v6 version of it, of course, also being in-season. Uh, the other thing I want to mention is skip completely over Warzone because I don't care, but the new weapons. First, we have the brand new AR, the EM2, so uh, that's interesting. I can't wait to get that Dark ether. I guess, even though I don't have the two newest weapons Dark ether yet. Uh, then we also have the Tech 9. These are definitely going to be in the Battle Pass. And then we have the Kane, which uh, based on previous seasons, that's going to be probably unlocked through a... I guess, um, unlock mission or whatever you want to call it. And then finally, we have in season the marshals. So I'm really hoping those marshals are going to work like the marshals from Black Ops 3, because if so, they're going to be so good in zombies. Oh my gosh. And the final thing that is uh, mentioned here is the flamethrower, which it says is a score streak and a support weapon. So meaning it's going to be in zombies. Uh, the final thing that I think we should talk about before we get into uh, what I've tried to been avoiding thus far is the mid-season event called The Numbers. And what I am more than sure what this is, is it's going to be the reveal for Vanguard. I think that is most definitely what it's going to be. And uh, the main reason I think that is because last year Cold War got revealed in August and obviously we're in August right now. Uh, but on top of that, and what I think at first would throw you off is like, why is it called the numbers? That's a Treyarch thing. That's not a sledgehammer thing or anything like that. But the reason why I think it is nonetheless, even though that's normally or traditionally a Treyarch thing, is because in this image we have right here of this uh, woman named Kisuke, excuse me, Kisukne, uh, what we actually see alongside the numbers is actually some Japanese writing. And in that Japanese writing, uh, one of them says Vanguard is coming. And because of that and the numbers alongside with the Japanese writer writing, excuse me, um, I think that uh, that's probably going to play some sort of role. Which does this mean that we're going to get like some, I guess, uh, connection between the stories now, which is entirely possible. But it also may have something to do with the rumors that Vanguard is going to be, I guess, uh, kind of alternate history. So maybe it's not technically alternate history. It's just an illusion or something like that. Some mind control stuff. I don't know. There's a lot of different possibilities that we're not going into. But I think... Uh, We've been avoiding enough, so let's get into zombies. <laughs> so first thing, uh, the new outbreak region is Collateral. Uh, this I find interesting because Collateral, there is a 6v6 version of this map on uh, multiplayer, but in uh, Onslaught, there's actually a like, huge version of it. Like The Onslaught version of it is humongous. So what I imagine is happening is that the Collateral from Onslaught is going to be the one coming to Outbreak, which I think is much more likely, which is interesting because I guess the Onslaught players already got to experience that, but whatever. The other thing, a tank is coming to uh, Outbreak, don't care. But something I do care about is the Rapple Gun is coming to Outbreak. Now that's going to be great for Outbreak, don't get me wrong, but I wish this was in multiplayer. Oh my gosh, I love the Rapple Gun so much. If it was in Warzone, oh my gosh, that would literally save Warzone. I'm not even joking, or at least save, save Warzone for me. Uh, but then finally, I want to mention uh, the new Outbreak objective, which is Transport. Don't know what that's going to be, and uh, we might find it in the blog post here in a bit. But then we have the new field upgrade, which is Tesla Storm. We'll come back to this because the blog post further explains this. Uh, finally, we get to 
what I've been trying to avoid this entire time, the new perk. And normally I would be excited for a brand new perk, like yes, we're finally getting a brand new perk in Zombies, or we're getting one that doesn't come with a round base map for once. Um, but unfortunately, that perk is depth perception or death perception, and I don't understand why. Now, people who didn't play Black Ops 4, and even people that play Black Ops 4 probably aren't very familiar with this because literally no one used depth perception unless you were playing Rush or something like that. So, I don't know, man. It's it's such a bad perk. Ah, I hope it does something special. But either way, let's try to salvage this by jumping over to the blog post where we actually get a nice little image of it. And uh, from this image, I'm already disappointed because uh, we do see that it actually took a spot on the Wonder Fizz. And this isn't the greatest thing because, as you guys know, we... Uh, can see there's only one more out of stock option meaning that we're probably going to go and get one more perk meaning that rather double tab or phd have been cancelled and uh, i'm not feeling good about my chances that uh, phd is not the one coming i think more than likely double tap's been the one that's been cancelled honestly just because we don't get nice things over here in the zombies community we just don't do that so I think that is probably what's uh, going on here, which is unfortunate, but I mean, we could still hope, but it's just super disappointing at this point because the new perks that we got throughout the season have been some of the worst perks ever. We got Tombstone, are you kidding me? Mule Kick, are you kidding me? Not as much as Tombstone, but are you still kidding me? And then now Death Reception, but are you seriously kidding me? I mean, and... I just feel like it's going to be PhD at this point. We're not going to get anything nice, which PhD is probably going to be the best post-launch perk that we'll ever get out of all four of them. But still, man, still, it's super annoying. Either way, uh, we get a, at least a base ability for depth perception that they tell us here, which uh, is exactly what it was in BO4. It just lets you see zombies through walls. It's just walls for zombies. And uh, the only thing that I'm holding maybe a little bit hope out is when they say of course the real secret sauce of this perk is in the five additional uh tier upgrades through the skill tiers and uh that's the only thing we got so i hope it's going to give us something way better like whatever we get in those tiers better be outshining the base ability which is pretty rare so i don't know i guess again we're just going to have to wait and see with that one um either way super disappointed with that but now we actually get uh, to Tesla Storm, which is a new field upgrade. And what it works like, and I guess I'll just read it directly. What it says is, upon activation, lightning will shoot out between you and your allies, stunning and damaging normal enemies. And then upon uh, up upgrading the skill tiers, its electricity can start stunning special and elite zombies and even boost your squad's movement speed. So, obviously, this is going to be completely useless to solo players. I can't imagine in any universe you would use this over uh, any of the other, I guess, rather, the main three that everyone uses, right? Whether it be Ether Shroud, Ring of Fire, or Frenzy Guard. So, I don't think this is even targeted for solo players. So, because obviously of that ability that when you are standing next to your allies, they also get all of these same abilities, which... It's fine. I mean, this seems like just something that you'll use once or twice unless something crazy happens in those tier upgrades, which they probably already gave us two of the tier upgrades out of the five, which is it could start stunning special and elites and then also boost your squad's movement speed, which again, I feel like I don't really think that's going to be used too much, but it's unique, I'll give it that, but I guess we're just going to have to wait and see with the rest of the tier upgrades because I just don't really think that uh, that's going to be too uh, much. Finally, what I want to talk about is the transport, which we already kind of touched on, but I actually haven't read this, so I'm going to re react to this with you guys. It says, players will encounter an all, all new objective, which tracks, or uh, tasks, excuse me, you with uh, you and your squad with ensuring an important drivable Requiem machine makes its way across the outbreak zone safely. And speaking of vehicles, okay, then they get into that. Uh, so is this literally not just escort? I'm confused. I am actually very confused. What is the difference between this and Escort? Did they just add a second Escort mission? If that's the case, that's cringe because Escort I hate doing because it takes so effing long. So 
uh, is that what it is? It really just literally sounds like Xcort, which is super annoying if that's the case. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, but it just sounds like an, another Xcort, which again, really sucks if that's the case. Uh, but yeah, either way, I think uh, that's going to wrap it up for this. Um, I don't know if I said this earlier, but if I didn't, I do want to mention it that uh, I really don't get how this is going to fit into the story or this as in uh, collateral, because this is, uh, or at least up until this point, we've kind of accepted that most of the areas on, I guess, uh, the outbreak regions were all in the Ural Mountains. But as you guys can see, collateral is a desert. So I'm pretty sure there's no deserts on the Ural Mountains, so that's something. Either way, just if I didn't mention, I might have already mentioned and just forgot, but either way, I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think about everything that we mentioned here. I know the overall season for zombies isn't much, but I mean, what did we really expect after just getting Mauer to Toten? There wasn't going to be a lot here anyway, so I'm not too upset. It's kind of exactly what I expected, minus the perception with Anyways, that's about it for this video. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts and everything, but I'm going to head out, and I'll uh, catch you guys in the next one.